Welcome back, folks and friends. Connecting Dots here. Today's date is Friday, November the 7th, 2014. A couple of uh, big stories here to share with you. So the first one here, uh, it says here that at the Fukushima plant on Friday, uh, three workers were injured, one seriously, when a steel railing fell from the top of a tank being constructed to store contaminated water. The plant's operator, Tokyo Electric Power Company, said the workers were not contaminated with any radiation, but one was unconscious and was airlifted to a hospital where he later regained consciousness while the others were in less serious injury. Now, the big story here, uh, in case you're not aware, all 48 uh, nuclear reactors in Japan have been turned off since the 2011 meltdown. And I was talking about how there were um, the locals here in at the Satsu, Satsuma Sendai, uh, the host town of these two nuclear plants, had voted that last week. I showed in that video how they were in favor of restarting these plants. And just recently, a day ago, I was talking about how they're actually having more talks on this whole thing uh, from November 5th to the 7th. And it had to do with the Volcanological Society that was joining him. And many local residents wanted to voice their opinion about restarting these nuclear plants. Well, it turns out, folks, they're going to go ahead and start the plants. I can't believe it. Uh, I'm, I'm rather, I, I honestly, I, I was kind of hoping maybe it wouldn't go down. Now, here's the other thing, too. Um, where these talks were being held, right? This is, you know, it wasn't in Japan. I should say it wasn't in Tokyo, and that was a good thing. So this all took place in Kagoshima. Now, I'm not sure if you know where that is, um, but yes, a, you know, it's uh, quite far from Tokyo. Yes, so I believe that because these talks took place way over there, a limited number of residents, very far from the main groups to follow. I don't know if you've seen the, some of the um, demonstrations in Tokyo. There's a lot of people that don't want the nuclear plants ref uh, started back up here. It's disgusting. And in that story here, you may have noticed that it says that at the prefectural assembly on Friday, the chairman's announcement of the yes vote was nearly inaudible as about 200 citizens in the audience shouted their opposition. They stood up, some holding no signs, while others shouted, protect residents' lives and shame on you, according to Kyoto News Agency. So yes, they're, they're disgusted with this and uh, the reason why we only had those 200 citizens, I believe, is because of location, location, location. Uh, you know, the majority of the population uh, leaves, lives in this area here. Um, it's a smaller area. Now, I also reported that one of the big concerns here with the Volcanological uh, Society that w was meeting uh, during this three days, November 5th to the 7th, was the fact that they can't predict volcanoes. And in that specific location, um, it's in a, a hotbed of uh, extinct volcanoes and some of them active. And this volcano here that's right near, as you can see here, here's the city of uh, 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 Kegoshima or whatever you call it and there's the, the volcano right in front yeah yeah ocean view folks so it seems like uh, they're not going to listen to the residents it's all about money you know Japan's been going along here quite fine since the 48 uh, reactors have been closed down we haven't heard of any massive energy problems over there I've heard the, uh, a, a rise in hikes in the cost of the energy, but I've also reporting how they're coming out with all kinds of wind farms, solar farms. Um, what can I say? It's all about keeping the nuclear plants going. They don't care about us. They don't care about lives. And um, you know, here's another one here. This one's about the radioactive waste storage at Fukushima. So if you're not aware of this, that what they were trying to do here is they're trying to buy some land here, okay? They're in negotiations with landowners. And yeah, the, the deals have not been concluded. And why do you think? Well, because the landowners don't want this garbage near their towns. It's plain and simple, you know? So they've been trying to get them for a long time here to, to get into this. You can see here that it, uh, they went on to say that they were to begin the waste transportation in January. It hasn't worked out. People, they don't want, okay, the waste. So they're going to build these storage facilities in the towns of Okuma and Futaba in Fukushima Prefecture. But I guess the landowners are saying, no way, Jose, you got to go somewhere else with that radioactive dirt. So that's your video for today. Very short. I just want to let you all know that very sad news today. It looks like Japan's going ahead with its the restarting of its first of the 248 reactors. And uh, what can I say? I think they did it on purpose to have it way over here because if that meeting had taken place in Tokyo, 
I guarantee you there would have been a lot more than just 200 people holding up signs. Anyways, have a great weekend and uh, stay tuned.